Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the PlayStation Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're gonna play Stray on PlayStation 5. So this game just came out today. Uh, it is part of PlayStation Plus Extra and uh, Premium. So if you have an Extra or Premium subscription, you can download this game right away. Um, it's also for sale. If you just want to buy it, you can buy it for like 30 euros, I think. But I'm really glad that it is on PlayStation Plus because, yeah, from what I've heard, it's a five hour game. It's a small little indie game. And um, yeah, let's go check it out. Uh, first of all, I want to show you I'm not a really big fan of cats. I'm I'm a dog person. Oh, my t that's my telephone. And I want to show you my newest member of the family. And yes, he's real. <laughs> this is uh, this is Harry. This is my um uh cross Jack Russell Chichu. So, and he's really happy. He's uh a little bit over 8 weeks old right now. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah, I love you too. So, <laughs> I'm much more a dog person, to be honest. This is my second dog. I've also got a uh, standard Jack Russell Terrier that's uh, that's that's uh, almost 13 years old. So, um, let's get into this game. First of all, let's see how much data it is. Oh, that's the wrong button. Information. And that's... Yeah, I think it's yeah, seven and a half GB. It's version 1.03, and of course it's installed on the internal hard drive. Let's go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me. You're really helping out this channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload on a weekly basis new games, old games, updates on games, and a little bit of hardware here and there. So, stray. I know a lot of people were looking forward to this game. And, um, yeah. Yeah, me too. A little bit. I had no idea what to expect. I, I saw some trailers here and there. And, uh, and they looked really, 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 really awesome and stuff. But later on, I already saw it was a smaller indie title. And uh, even the graphics are not that great to be honest they're not not bad don't get me wrong don't please don't get me wrong or anything for a indie game these are really good uh, good graphics and it's a fun game but it's ultra linear Okay. Meow. And you can complete the full game in like, what, four or five hours? From what I've heard. So it's not a long game. Dual sense controls work perfectly well, by the way. I couldn't find any ray tracing in the game. At least no ray tracing reflections or anything. <clears throat> Uh-oh. <laughs> Run. Those are some crazy critters. Uh oh. That's one dead pussy. 
Before I was playing with this game, my girlfriend already said to me, Yeah, but Maurice, you're, you are... You're gonna complete this game in one try because you're really good with pussies. I had no idea what she meant by that, but... By the looks of it, it's 4K at 60 FPS. There are no extra. No extra graphic modes. I, I checked it. There's, yeah, only motion blur. I've got motion blur off, by the way. I'm anti motion blur. I don't like it, it gives me headaches. And games look much better without it. You see, it's super linear. And that's not a bad thing. I, I like a linear game. Sometimes, but... Yeah, it's definitely a smaller game. So I know some people were thinking that this was a full-blown triple A at PlayStation exclusive. And that's not. Because first, it's not made by Sony. It's an uh, Annapurna Interactive game. Uh, second, uh, it's not an exclusive. So it will also eventually come to other platforms. It's already out on PC. So... Uh, So it's probably like, what, maybe like half a year exclusive on PlayStation or something. This is a game that I would even see coming to Nintendo Switch. It would be a perfect Nintendo Switch game, in my uh, humble opinion. Of course, on a Nintendo Switch, it would be way lower graphics. Where can I get up? Oh, wait. This is how we do it. Yeah, it's a fun playthrough, this game. 100%. Funny little indie game. But I do think that PlayStation oversold this game a little bit. Because it's it's nowhere near as good as a big triple A game. Okay, my puppy is trying to destroy a shirt of mine right now. He has so many toys, but yeah. It's way better to destroy stuff that I shouldn't be playing with. I got it. 
smaller puzzles here and there. Here we go. But yeah, you guys, this is Stray running on PlayStation 5. And it's a perfectly fine game. Uh, 30 bucks, it's it's fair price. And uh, yeah, if you want a super fun little indie game, then I would definitely recommend playing this. But don't expect a game you will be playing the the next couple of months. It's a uh, yeah, definitely a small little indie game that that will take you up to four or five hours for the completion. So yeah, that's that. For now, I really want to thank you for watching. I hope you had fun, and I hope to see you soon in another one. Bye.